Well, hello guys and welcome to today's video. On this video we're going to do a fix whopper. So I choose that home and we're going to try to fix it up to waitress trial kind of house. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you think of today's video. So starting up I'm going to show you how this house looks like and how we will turn it into a waitress style kind of house. So I'm not going to change the outside perspective like the windows, the door or just the wallpaper outside. We're going to have that to stay the same. So the thing that we're going to change the most is the outside. I'm also maybe making a little bit nice of an outside play area so we can use the yard a bit. Starting off this video, we're going to start off with just deleting everything in the living room so we can make some space for the new things. So, of course you need to start with some wallpaper and why not do something yellow. I would love this house is going to be main focus on the colors like yellow. Just something fun, something different. I don't know how often do you use yellow in your buildings. Let me know. So, the yellow wallpaper is set and ready. So now let's see what kind of couch we're going to choose. So, in this building I will love to use color, but I do want it to be not over the top. So I'm actually going to use a white cows to just blend it more in. Now I also want a nice chair to use in our uh, living room so we have space for enough people. So since I'm not going to change the size of the home, we need to try to get everything fitted in in the space it already is. Even now the yard is big enough for me to actually build it out. So we have a nice yellow chair that I will place also in our living room. Now we need to find a table. Mm, let me see which one we want to use. I'm looking for something a little bit more retro style that will fit in like this one. Back you know to the 60s, 70s, 80s when people just love this. I know that's one of the great things about Sims, they have almost every style you need. So why not just choose a bright yellow carpet to just change it all up. Alright, so now that the walls, the carpet and a lot of the furniture is in, we of course need a TV. So, now I'm checking out what's missing and we need some wall art on the walls. So, I'm going to choose this one, but then the one with a lot of colors. Because, you know, we love colors in this episode. Okay, so this wall is also a little bit empty, so we should also do a nice painting there. But here we choose a painting that's a little bit more calmer. Not as brightful as the other one. Alright, now let's see. I love to have a radio. And of course we need to choose this one, just amazing, not sure if we want on the left or right side, but let's choose the right side. Some flower power is very important. And I think we have space for a little bit more wall art here besides the door, don't you think? So let's choose one with a little bit more of color again. So I'm not allowed to change the doors or the windows so that we all will keep the same. Next up, the kitchen. So I'm just starting out with deleting everything there is in this kitchen. Uh, 
It got really dark, didn't it? So I need to remember to put on some lights. So I choose the floorings. Now it's time for the walls. Oh, some kitchen cabinets I haven't deleted yet. Now let's see. Yellow kind of walls. There is actually a lot of yellow in the Sims uh, app in the Sims 4, so that's a great color to choose. So also our kitchen cabinets are going to be our counters are going to be yellow. But some grain to turn it down. And the stove, I'm going to choose the color yeah, beige, kind of neutral color at least. So I'm just moving that counter over there so I have space for the fridge and of course the garbage bin. Using the same color as the stove for that. And why not place a little dining table in our kitchen? This is a big house, so it ain't made for a big family. So I'm choosing uh, this dining table, also a little bit color. And I need to find some chairs. Of course, colorful chairs. All right, I'm loving it. Okay, so I need to use the yellow lamps, of course. Yellow, yellow, yellow. So I think the walls are a little bit empty, so I'm going to put on some kitchen cabinets there as well. And of course, they got to be yellow. Okay, so I just need to remove that light a little bit. So that I have more space for some cabinets. So I think the kitchen is pretty much done. Let's get over to our garden. So I'm starting off with the fence. I know I don't need to fence in the entire yard. I'm just using a small area. Just moving on the gar garbage bin. Of course, we need a pool. It's not going to be the biggest pool, but as long as you can just go in and refresh yourself. So I don't like it, that's not even. So I'm just going to make this a little wider. Yeah, this looks better. And of course, some more yellow.
So the pool area is almost getting done. Just some light, some colors, and of course some stairs. We need to do some flooring in a garden and of course why not a strange kind of colorish of course we need to have a yellow grill so yeah and of course it's time for a dining table outside or picnic tables probably called so if the people want, they can also sit outside and dine. So, since we are this retro style, organic kind of people, we need a bee house. So we can make our own bee hunting. And of course a bird feeder, because it's important that the birds get some food. So yeah, this is our yard. Not the biggest, but also not the smallest. So up next, it is time for the bedroom. So, so I found this tile that I would love to use in our bathroom. So just placing it there. And since I found the tile I love, it just makes me realize that I just need to start with the bathroom first before I go over to the bedroom. So now I've deleted everything that used to be in our bathroom. So it's time to start with some tiles on the wall. And which tiles going to be? Why not some orange tiles? So let's see what kind of sink and where we're going to place the sink. Nice yellow old school sink that will fit perfectly. Let's see if we can find a great mirror to fix to match with our color team. And now it's time for a shower. A yellow shower as well. And of course a yellow bathtub. So where can we fit a toilet, it's also got some yellow in it, over there, so it's not enough space, it's not that much space, but enough to function. So now that the bathroom is gone, we can finally do the bedroom and start with deleting everything that's in it. Next up, the walls. And of course, we need some yellow in our bedroom. yellow light fixture as well and these three colorful lights I would love to have in our bedroom so let's see if we can find some flooring to put in our bedroom
I just also placed the same floor in our hallway and our other room that's probably going to be our office. So now I'm just moving the light fixture so we can fit in the bed. Some bedside tables. Also some with some color. And some lovely candle lighting for the room. So let's see what kind of closet or dresser we can fit in this room. Of course I'm choosing one with some yellow. Some nice flower and a clock to put in our room. So I feel like there's missing, missing something. So maybe a nice carpet. So let's see what we can find that we feel like fits in this room. Oh yes. I like it. Let's see what kind of art we can fit in the wall. Just something. You know, maybe she's going to be a painter in the household, so she can put her own art up. So in the hallway we're also just going to let it stay like it is, just changing the wall a bit. And here we're going to delete everything in the room. And I'm going to make this an office area, library, not a second bedroom, because we don't need that yet. But just a nice place so where the household can read some books. Some nice color for chairs. And in the end we also need a desk with a computer so they can do some extra homework or socialize. And of course we're also going to choose something with a yellow in it. See what kind of chair fits, and I'm just going for the colorful flower power kind of chair as well for my desk. Okay, so there's a bit more space in the room, but I'm not sure what fits in. So why not use the decoration stand just so it don't look that empty. And since I totally forgot some wallpaper to put on this room, we of course need to go and get some of that. So I not use this strange yellow boat kind of wallpaper to put in it. So yeah, I think my house is getting pretty much done. We just need to fix up the front a little bit more stonework 
I've also got yellow in it. And I should probably already notice in my previous videos, I'm starting willing to like to use some of the small lights to put in the front of the yard. So let's find one we like. As you can see, it ain't easy to choose sometimes. So, a little bit of lighting here, and then I will take. We pretty much got the house down. So, yeah. I want, first of all, I want to thank you all for watching, and please let me know down below what you think of this fix wrapper. Maybe I'm not always using this retro style yellow kind of color, but I think it was a fun challenge and something fun to do. So as you see, the main outside of the house stays the same. I put a little backyard in it so we can use. And now it's time for a little walkthrough to our home. So you walk straight into the living room, it's all yellow, nice colored up. Then we got a small little kitchen where you also have a little breakfast nook. But if you want, you can of course dine outside. We have a small pool area as well in our backyard. Where we have a table, a grill, bee house, bird feeder, just everything you need to have a nice backyard. So yeah, now it's time to go back inside and on our way to our bedroom. There's also a lot of nice bright colors, great size, great wall colors. Of course, if I could change, I would probably have some more windows, or different kind of windows, but I like it. A small little bedroom that's also nice with yellow colors different stoning just very different than what I normally would do and of course our library slash office that also got a lot of nice lovely bright colors so yeah I think it actually looks pretty gay great so thank you all for watching and don't forget to follow me and subscribe down below